Alex Jones here reporting for InfoWars.com. I was invited to California last Friday night to take part in Jesse Ventura's 60th birthday, the former Minnesota governor, an actor, political activist, as well as the 85th birthday of Harry Dean Stanton, the legendary actor. And it was a great event. I was honored to be there. And I was told some things by Jesse Ventura uh, at the event that I found to be, well, painful uh, because I like Jesse Ventura. I know he's a real guy. Uh, he's a real person. He really cares about freedom. I don't even agree with him on every political issue, but I know he's bona fide. And I know he's a man of his principles, and I respect him, and I've had a chance to work with him in films and on his television show and travel around the country with him. And I've gotten a chance in the last six years to get to know him and to see his transformation of really getting politically awake to the whole shadow government has been exciting at one at one level, but also painful to see it kind of bum him out at a certain point. Uh, and he told me a lot of things while I was uh, you know, there at the party and outside with him smoking cigars that I said to him, I said, can I relay this to the viewers? And he said, sure. And he said, I'll come on your show after I've done the press conference Friday. Uh, but he said, you can tell them what I've said here. And I said, okay, well, let's put it on my iPhone. He said, no, Alex, it's my 60th. You can tell them on the radio and I'll come on. And I said, okay, fine. And it was late in the night, but um, I wrote some notes down that evening when I got home or to the hotel to make sure uh, that I was accurate. And I want to go over those, and then I'll cover some of the latest TSA news that dovetails with what the governor uh, told me. Uh, first off, there will be a third season of Conspiracy Theory that the first two seasons covered a lot of really groundbreaking, hardcore issues that have never been on mainstream television, and it got top ratings on the channel, even though they buried it on Friday nights uh, in the second season. It's coming back, but via Jesse's pledge to never fly again until the TSA stops groping his genitals, and I've witnessed it at Atlanta uh, flying with him, uh, he's going to be uh, basically at a war room going over the research and having the reporters come to him, and then he'll basically um, pass judgment on the information and give you uh, his take on things. And there's going to be new reporters on the show. Uh, some of the previous reporters that did a great job are going to be there as well, but the two new main reporters are going to be Tyrell Ventura, who's super smart and a great job behind the scenes, good friend of mine as well, Jesse Ventura's son, uh, and um, a, another son of a famous person who's also very accomplished uh, in his own right, and that's Sean Stone, son of legendary Hollywood film director uh, Oliver Stone. I've talked to him before on the phone, interviewed him on the radio, but had a chance to meet him at the party. He's a big guy, an imposing, an imposing presence and figure. Um, uh, that guy to be an acting himself. Well, I guess he's been in dozens and dozens of big films. I guess he is an acting, uh, but had a chance to uh, meet him in person, and they're going to be two big new parts of the show. So there's some good news. Let me give you the bad news. Um, and I'm not going to go too far here, because even though he said some of this stuff to me, I want to make sure I wasn't interpreting it wrong. So I'm going to purposefully kind of water it down a bit and then let him fully cover it at the press conference. Uh, and, but again, he told me I could talk about this. I said, okay, well, if you don't want to do an interview right now, you'll come on the radio later. I said, you, you'll you'll come on my show after the um, press conference. I said, absolutely, Alex, love to. And, you know, he, he breaks a lot of things on our show, and we appreciate that. Um, he said that he expects the federal court, even though reportedly he's researched the judge, and the judge is a good judge, some of his past rulings, yes, he said, he believes the court will get pressure put on it, and then it will rule against his standing or letting the lawsuit for civil rights violations, Americans with Disabilities Act violations because of his titanium hip, uh, he believes they're going to strike it down. But then he went into saying, well, but my lawyer thinks it's a good judge. We've got a good case. But but Jesse's gut, which he's you know he follows, uh, my gut's usually right or almost always right. His gut is they don't want him in their books. They don't want to be in a lawsuit with Ventura where he can actually dig into what they're doing because they're super arrogant. I mean, every other federal agency has got to have radiologists check their machines that are X-raying. They don't even do it. Uh, and I'm going to get to that in a moment. I mean, there's a lot of things they do. FBI agents can't stick their hands down your pants, but these guys do it. 
uh, violating the Fourth Amendment, states' rights. They're now on the streets. I mean, Jesse's got a point that they don't want to have him in discovery. So he thinks they're going to throw his suit out. And then he sighed because he he loves this country and he likes to fly. It's it's quicker. It's easier. He said, A, I will never fly again if they rule against me. And this is a guy that does what he says he's going to do. He, he looked upset when he said it. And uh, yeah, I talked to his wife, great lady. She was like, yeah, I drove for this party in L.A. from Minnesota three days with the German Shepherd. <laughs> you know, she likes driving, but not that much. So he's he's living by it now for, I don't know, six, seven, eight months. He has he hasn't flown. And he's having to, on the TV show, almost didn't get re-upped because he said, I'm not flying. So they the, the network had to cave in and do something else. I mean, he's he's really sacrificing a lot because of how they're abusing him. But he has to stand up for principle, even though it's destroying his career in media, as he said. So continuing, he said, this will be a press conference if they rule against me that nobody's going to want to miss. And I couldn't remember when I got back to the hotel exactly what he said. It was like, this is going to be an incredible press conference, like nothing I've ever done. You're, uh, you're going to want to, you know, people are going to want to see this. He, and, and he looked upset and, I, and like, you know, he was kind of at the edge of a cliff, you know, that feeling for you jump off the high dive. And I said, what? What are you going to announce? And he said, Alex, let's just put it this way. We think we're going to go ahead and go through all the hoops to get the Mexican citizenship. Not a good imitation of Ventura, but that's what he said. And I said, you mean you're not going to be a U.S. citizen? You're not going to live here anymore? And he said, press conference, Alex. But he basically went 90% of the way of saying that and then later was telling me, yeah, Mexico, it's got its problems. Baja's great. They aren't like this with the TSA. I think we're going for it. Terry and I, my wife, we're Mexico, Mexican citizens. I asked Vicente Fox, you know, we're friends. Can I can I just get you or talk to the new president to just sign something like an American president can do? And they said, no, Jesse, you've got to go through the whole process. So I hope he actually doesn't do that. I mean, it's great to live down there part of the year and surf when Minnesota's freezing, but I, I hope he keeps on the TV show. I like seeing him. I like being invited to parties and hanging out with him. So bottom line, he's got this big press conference coming up Friday uh, after the federal court rules on whether he has standing. They might move the court date, but they rarely do in these big cases. If they throw it out and say he isn't even allowed to sue, uh, Jesse is going to never fly again, and he's a man of his word. Uh, that is commercial. He might fly private. And he uh, is basically going to seek Mexican citizenship. I don't know if that means he's going to renounce his U.S. citizenship. But that's the big announcement. And we'll get an article out on this tomorrow at Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. And, and he authorized me to talk about it. And he'll be joining us on the radio after the press conference, you know, on, on Monday or Tuesday after the meeting. Uh, the good news is the TV show is coming back for a third season. And so we're excited about that. And uh, I, I just want to say that Jesse Ventura is a real guy. I wish he'd run for president, uh, but uh, he believes America's too far gone at this point for him to overall be able to do a lot of good that way. And that he hopes the books he's written, the work he's done, that the next generation uh, will see how right we were about what unfolded and, and, and turn things around. I know we don't have time. I know this tyranny is so great and so scientific, it's got to be reversed now. And I just want to thank Ron Paul for running for president. You know, he's now retiring from the House. So win, lose, or draw, if he doesn't win the presidency, he's going back home to Texas, that he is all in for the presidency. Because even if he loses, he wins by injecting real issues. Resistance is victory. George Washington lost probably 80% of his battles, didn't start winning them until the end, but it was that perseverance that defeated the greatest army the earth had ever seen that had never been defeated, the British. Now, in closing, <laughs> I felt like a liar when I saw this headline. You know, Jesse was talking about, you know, thinking he might lose his court case. And I was like, don't worry, a federal court today ruled that the, there's too much radiation and they've got to look at it, that the TSA's in trouble. Because that's what I'd read in the Associated Press. Uh, headline, TSA told to get public comment on body scanners. And, of course, I'd seen the InfoWars article, uh, federal court rules TSA violated law by introducing body scanners. But then this Sunday, I was telling Jesse, well, don't worry, you know, court did the right thing. And the, uh, and, and it, it's going the right. Then I saw this headline, federal court rules that TSA naked scans are constitutional. And that's how Forbes spun this. Uh, but I've read the court ruling. Basically, what they did was they, they did 50-50, or they kind of 
kick the can down the road. What they said here from the ruling was specifically the TSA's actions violated Administrative Procedure Act, which requires federal agencies to provide notice an opportunity for comment while implementing a rule that affects the rights of the public. So does so, so they're worried about their administrative law, not, hey, the Fourth Amendment, hey, the Tenth Amendment. Uh, hey, what about them sticking their hands down your pants? They're not worried about that. What about them not radi ha having a radiology test or having a radiation officer like a dental office has to have? These things have more radiation. It's on record. You know, what about real issues? No, they're worried they didn't let you comment, which they don't even listen to to begin with. But it, it's, it's somewhat of a victory. Uh, Judge Douglas Ginsburg found there was no justification for having failed to conduct a notice and comment rulemaking and said few of any regulating procedures imposed directly significantly upon us so many members of the public. Again, few of any, let me read that again, few of any regulatory procedures imposed directly and significantly upon so many members of the public. Uh, so he's saying that this is big, this has a huge effect, and you didn't get comment. Uh, comment. Hey, we're going to uh, put you in a gas chamber. We're going to give you a comment first. Uh, but, but but overall, it is somewhat of a victory. There's all this other news about the woman that didn't want her little girls in the body scanners because of the radiation. They arrested her. Uh, reported that another lady had her breast grabbed, so she reached out and grabbed the TSA agent's breast. She's being charged with a felony. I mean, look, if they can stick their hands down our pants and grab our genitals and do all of this, the sky's the limit. They can tell our kids they, that parents can't be trusted to bring school lunches like Chicago. They can tell people in uh, cities in Michigan that they can't have a garden in their own front yard, even though there's no law. The sky's the limit. They can steal your pension funds. They can launch wars without congressional approval. Well, we're all going to be watching. Okay, folks, that's it. That's all I got to say. Uh, please get this video out to everybody and uh, hope that we do have a good ruling coming up on Friday that this lawsuit can go forward. We appreciate Jesse Ventura, a man who's lived his life in the arena, has stepped to the plate yet again to defend all of our liberties and freedoms. And so pray that the judge in this case does the right thing and even allows the suit to go forward. I'm Alex Jones, and this is the Info War. Ask yourselves, what are you doing in this time of great challenge? What are you doing to unlock minds? Go to InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.tv for the latest headlines and cutting-edge information.